Hey guys, you are watching Coursera Programming and in this video I will show you how to write program for week 11 program number 4. Write a C program to check whether the given input is a prime number or not using recursion. So the input is an integer and output should print whether the integer is prime or not. Note that you have to use recursion. So this problem can be done in an easy way or in a one function in P in function or else here as we have to use recursion so what we will do we will take the number and take the half of the number so you may know that there are two ways to write a prime number program one in which we use a for loop which will go from one to the number itself and divide it one by one and check number of factors or else we can use another technique in which we use the number and we divide the number by 2 and check whether the whether the number is being divided from 1 to the half of its number because every number above the half of a number cannot divide that number for let's take an example if we have 10 and we divide it by 2 it will give us 5 so we will check from 1 to 5 and if we check from 6 it is easily said that 6 cannot divide or number greater than the half of that number cannot divide that number so we have used the same technique here such that we have taken the number and taken the half of the number and here we have used recursive function check prime so here what we do is take the number i which is the half of the number and check whether it is equals to 1 then return 1 else if the number is divided by the number i, in that case it will be the half of the number, it will return 0, which means not a prime number, or else it will call the function itself, which is recursion, and it will call the number and in place of the half of the number, it will be minus 1 from that number. So if it is 10 and the number will be 5, half of the number is 5, it will then again go in and minus 1 from that number so it will go 4 and every time it will run the half of the number gets slashed or gets subtracted once every time the recursive function runs so let us check so you can see all the programming la program lines so if it is i equals to equals to 1 it will return 1 which means it is a prime number or else if it is divided by any of the number ranging from 2 to that half of the number it will return 0 or else it will call the prime chain function okay so let us compile we have passed both cases and submitted okay 2 out of 2 test passed now we will go for the second program or the fifth program of the week which is Program number 5, write a C program to reverse a word using recursion. Input to the number is a string that can be taken from the user and output is reverse of the input word. It is a simple reverse but we have to use recursion in this. So we have a function character reverse which will take a character array as an input. Okay, so the input uh, is already given in the main function and the reverse function calls the reverse str it will store the reverse string so the function reverse get the string uh, uh, get the character array str and we have used uh, integer i which is 0 static character reverse so we have used static that is not a very problem you can use static or else you can use anything so character reverse which we have taken as 100 okay is a variable which will store the reverse number so if pointed string is true which means it contains any value it will reverse it will call the reverse and add rev which is the rev character array plus plus so it will increase the so it will increase the index of reverse by one and it will take the pointer of str and 
or the address of HDR and put it inside REV. Every time it is true, unless it gets a null character, it will run the function and then it will return REV, which will be the reverse of the input string. So this function is used. Let us compile it. We get both of the test passed and let us submit and we have 1 out of 1 test pass, 4 is 100 out of 100. The next or the first three video, first three programs are quite tricky. So we will do one thing that we will first try to solve it ourselves and then we will give you the video or upload the video as soon as we complete the programs. Thank you for watching. And please visit our site Coursera.in to get all the other videos, all the other subjects that we cover. And please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys in the next video.